Don't mind my dirty window. Just coming back here to check on the sorghum. It's about 20 to 10. Didn't realize it was that late. I pretty much just got done for the day and uh, got the chores done. Had a fairly busy day. I had to get things ready to maybe cut some hay tomorrow. Um, fix the tractor a little bit. Take some duels off. The baling tractor. And I left them on when I built that field of home that baleage that I showed you. Trying to get some dry hay put up now, but we got a inch and a quarter of rain. Um, shoot, la last night it would have been. So, not so sure about cutting tomorrow. We'll see, but man, this stuff really shot up. Really, really started coming. Well, yeah, I was, I was been here, I was out here last last night night before and i noticed some of this stuff coming and, and i thought it was weeds but now that i remember when i planted this i had a little bit of clover seed left in the seed box so i uh just left it in there i think that's someone probably can correct me but I, that might be what that is coming in some grass and stuff coming in here but this half of the field over here, I plowed. This half over here, I uh, harrowed, or used the field cultivator on. You can tell, because over here, there's not as much grass coming in as over here. But this is what it is, and this stuff really is shot up. Look at that, man. Be some good feed, hopefully. We'll see how it turns out. This is back behind my house. It's like three acres of sorghum here. This was all kind of grown up into scrub brush. April, I uh, I cleaned it up and started plowing it and wanted to get something into it. Otherwise, it's just gonna grow up into the trees and stuff. So I, you can see some grass coming in it there, which that's all right, it'll make feed. This is gonna get put up wet wrapped just like the the hay we we did but there's 96 bales of baleage there and i got another field that i put into sorghum it was hay it was petering out starting to get some weeds in it so i no-tilled it into sorghum and uh and tried and then sprayed it with roundup and killed it off before the sorghum was up so hopefully that turns out. There's about seven acres there, so about 10 acres of sorghum in. And uh, hoping to get about 50 bales of sorghum. That'd give me enough, plenty of, plenty of sorghum and baleage to, uh, for this year. I wouldn't hardly have to feed any dry hay through the winter time. And most all the dry hay I can probably sell. Usually, I think last year I sold about 100 and, 120 probably round bills. Usually, my second cutting all gets put up dry into round bales. Maybe I'll do some squares this year, but they're just harder to deal with. It's just a just me a one man operation here, so. Uh, so I just figured I'd make a little video and show you guys the sorghum and kind of some other stuff that I'm doing. I'll try and throw in some more videos here and there if I, when I can. Anybody who watches them, I guess. So, yeah, pretty much just came back here, just got done for the day, pretty much. Might go mess around with some lights on the tractor in the shop to try and try and get that working better but put some led lights on it and like to get them working so and tomorrow i got a busy day i gotta go run up to a feed store and get some more chemical roundup and ams 
to uh, for corn, we got we always we've tried before spraying our corn once, but it doesn't seem to you always seem to get a late flush of weeds. So when that one field's about ready to close close in, we want to get it sprayed tomorrow, hopefully. Um, got most of the soybeans sprayed. I think there's only, no, actually all the soybeans, no, there's one field left. The soy is sprayed, but they don't look too bad. We'll probably spray them this week. And then we're going to try and set our sprayer up for uh, drop nozzle and 28 on, because the corn was being planted late. Um, yeah, stuff really grew with that rain we got and the heat, humid today, muggy. Try and put some 28 on the corn this year it got planted late and try and push it along a little bit so I gotta run up tomorrow and get some chemical and then hopefully come back drop 20 acres of hay and possibly go spray that cornfield in the evening and I'd like to try and get the sprayer switched over for drop nozzle in 28 but We'll see. That's going to be a long day. And then, of course, Thursday's the 4th. And probably won't try and do much on the 4th. Maybe rake some hay or something. So, took this week off from work to try and get some stuff done. Try and get some haying done. But the weather ain't cooperating. So, just figured I'd show you guys the sorghum field. Back here. and Really starting to... It does look a lot like corn starting to come up so all right well hope you enjoyed the video and if you like what you see in one a couple videos i made there hit the like button i guess and comment what you think and subscribe if you want to all right we'll talk to you later